Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a Half-Life video. I'm going to rectify that now. This is Rubble by Tom Paradox Mustaine, who I have heard about before this uh, map series because he did maps for um, ma uh, Master Levels for Doom 2 as well as Final Doom and uh, one of the Quake ma uh, expansion packs. And I do know that he have ended up being one of the lead designers for uh, Sin, so that's cool. Anyway, this is a fabulous map. I used to really like this one. Um, the thing about this one is that it's also... If you start in this area, get that this as soon as possible, the, the gauze gun. Even if it's in a very precarious position. Because once you have this, like this map is just like yours to jump around and play around with. Um, you could also do like, you know, even like if the barnacle here is um, located in this map as well. You just don't get the same freedom. Of course, you have to worry about your ammo, but yeah. So this is a very layered map. There's quite a few way, different ways to go. I'll start off with the first layer. So if you start down here, get the green monster tentacle thingy that I still don't know the name of. You can get to the next layer by using the ladder, but for now we'll start on layer one. I like the, the aesthetics of this map. Uh, this is one outside area. And there's goodies in the uh, shipping containers here. Especially this one has the big machine gun that everyone loves. Or maybe they don't love, I don't know, I can't speak for everyone. In fact, that's the only one. I, I always think there's they're all open, but I'm stupid. I do believe that, yes, this is where you can get the barnacle, which, you know, opens up a lot of different ways to go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about this later in a bit, but yeah, there's this uh, sniper rifle up there. Definite must. You can break these crates here. Or maybe you can't. I swear that this one of the, uh, some of the crates in this map are absolutely breakable. And you got a little truck area. Which you got everyone's favorite. I think it's one of the ones in the uh, hallways here. Got a little healing station. So moving up onto the next layer, you got your rocket launcher. Good fun guaranteed for all. I'll show off over there. I'll show you. I swear these ones. Okay, maybe not. I'm, no, I'm thinking of another uh, opposing force map. Just forget about me. I'm an idiot. But please don't forget about me because I want you to watch this video. Never mind. Anyway, see, this is another slam dunk thing. Just the lighting in this map is gorgeous for like how old this game is. It's just so much personality. So yeah, that's how that you get up there if you want to. If you want to take the long and slow, painful way up, that's how you get there. And we'll go back this way. And we'll get to this layer in a sec, but if you want to hang out, have a good place to hang out for a bit, you can do so up there. So if you go up in this side, which you can get up through by a ladder, and there's some rockets here for the rocket launcher over there. So you don't have to go around, by the way, to get up here. You get some more kick-ass lighting, this time red. And you got some of this uh, fun uranium, which I can't grab because it doesn't like me. It splits here, so if you go back, this is how you can get up here. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, really good stuff, though. Um, let's play. Of course, this is another one of those instances where I think this works in the regular Half-Life. Though I have something interesting to say. Um, I think it's probably just JK Body. But I was having some spawn issues with these games again, and like, you know, too many people causing the game to crash. Uh, it's actually a differing amount this time too, though. I was able to do 24 in Half-Life here, but only 16 in Opposing Force. I'm uh, plugging this time as it being a JK body issue. So I'm, you know, this map would probably be okay with 32 people, but in this case we're only doing 24, so you know. Or 24 here, uh, 16 in Opposing Force. Whatever, let's go. Oh yeah, I actually turned on the bots, that's what's important.
really seems to want to spawn me in uh, the shipping bin area there for some reason. Yeah, don't stay up there too long. You're probably gonna get shot. second, but for some reason, I don't know why I'm seeing him so much there, it's just weird. something oddly comforting about the uh, opposing force walk sound. I don't know what it is. Like the footsteps? Always has been. I don't know why. Like aesthetically, I prefer um, original Half-Life or like, you know, the HUD and stuff in color and all that. I prefer the original Half-Life over this game at almost all times. But the footstep sound, something about it. It's just oddly satisfying. It needs to go on like a YouTube video or something. Oddly satisfied on the opposing force footsteps. Just have that play. Healing ASMR for 10 hours. I'd watch it. Well!
trying to grab the wrench there because I use the same uh, waypoint files between both games. So, you know, maybe that's the what was happening there, but oh well. Out of my control. I think this is the first time I've ever reloaded this in multiplayer. I can't believe it. You know, this really is one of the most satisfying machine guns in any, like, FPS I've ever played. It's just big, beefy, super powerful, um, and, like, it's got nice attention to detail because in 1999, the ammo belt on it actually runs out and gets replaced. That is quality for the year this came out. How many games do that now? Probably more than a few, but, you know, I remember even, like, 2007, 8 games were doing that. Satisfying's a big word in this stream, isn't it? I just realized that. I don't think he was interested in actually har harming me. I think he just wanted to jump around and practice parkour or something. Don't blame him. Four maps I played in like OC or OG Half Life. The, yeah, this is one that probably suffered the most just because of the lack of weapons. Don't even bother, just play it here. Not that anyone would bother, I'm the only idiot that's ever thought to do that. But then again, some of these were actually were, like work decently well. Like, you know, candy base. So I don't know. You know, I'm just showing it how it is. I don't know, just giving the hard facts. <laughs> Man, I'm at the frickin' T-1000 right now, goodness gracious, giving the pain.